Back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi. We're here to take a look at Darnell Savage Jr. I might refer to him as Macho Man. I might refer to him as Lil Missile. Okay, he's a safety, Maryland. Um, they line him up at a lot of spots. You know, uh, free safety, strong, uh, walk down strong, deep strong. Uh, he has a few linebacker snaps. He'll go to, you know, corner sometimes. But I think he's best suited. I think he's best suited playing around the line of scrimmage, chasing people, man coverage, playing the run. That's where that's 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 where 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 most of his value is gonna uh, come from. Even when he's playing deep, take a look at him right here. Even when he's playing deep, what I like about him is that he always finds himself in the sauce he always finds himself by the ball he doesn't care who's carrying the ball what size the ball carrier is i'm going to show you some texas footage later of him tackling the hell out of little jordan humphrey you know what i mean um just a just a fearless little dude right um me being a, a Cowboys fan, this isn't a Cowboy video, but it, but when you watch him, he's he's kind of got some Xavier Woods vibes in him, you know. Um, he can play free if you need him to, uh, but he really makes his money around the line of scrimmage, tackling linebacker snaps, um, chasing around tight ends if you want to. Uh, even this play, let's go straight to the cartel view. Even this play here, take a look at Darnell Savage right there. Not the biggest guy in the world. He looks a bit small. Combine nerds, please go in, um, go in the comment section and help me out there. Um, but like I said, <laughs> the size don't matter. Macho Man is going to get his ass up in this uh, up in this gap here, and he's going to affect the play. Very instinctual player as well. Uh, not only reading the run, but uh, reading these routes, reading these passes. And they're cutting grass outside my window. We'll see how this sounds. Let's keep watching. Here's another example of of um what I mean by instinctual player. He's lined up at the free right now, right? But he keeps the same temperament. He keeps that same ass whoop attitude, right? Let's just watch the play, and then we're gonna come back and take a look at it. Um, we see uh we see just an easy handoff in the backfield, right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna see him actually kind of read the lanes, read the 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 trash that's in front of him and kind of navigate through it so he can go make that tackle. So let's just kind of take a look at Darnell here. He's going to come down. He's going to kind of read the blocks or whatnot. He's going to work inside to navigate past the block. Now he sees this uh, ball, this ball carrier, like, getting ready to bounce the ball to the outside. So what I like is Darnell doesn't work his way through this trash here. Let's go, uh, let's go cartel view uh, so we can get a better idea of it right there darnell doesn't work himself inside in all this trash right here that's darnell there he doesn't work himself in this trash here he's just gonna bounce this thing wide outside and he eventually gets his uh gets his hands on the uh, ball carrier because he was able to read this inside just instinctually right high iq football player i really like that about him uh, oh he really make babies right here check out little missile we got him right here um he and this is another reason why I call him a little missile, right? Not just not just in the the run game where he's firing, going to go tackle people, right? But planting this damn foot in the ground and making making plays on the ball when it's in the air, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, being able to read the play, he's gonna get his eyes on on um on Haskins here, and he's just gonna slowly just drift in that direction. But when he see Haskins commit to that side, that's when he's really gonna plant his foot. He's gonna run. He's gonna get his hand in there and um bat the ball in the air and cause the interception for one of his partners right there. Um very high Q play by um by um Darnell Savage right there. High level IQ DB play. 
even on this play here, uh, Darnell didn't necessarily get a tackle here, and the ball didn't necessarily go in this way. But you know that Darnell's reading his keys. So on offense, what this is is we, you know, Haskins has the option, right? He can either uh, he can either hand the ball or he can throw this uh, throw this uh, bubble backside here, right? That's pretty much boom, 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 boom. You see that? Darnell's just reading his side of the field. Now, in the league, they kind of do this sometimes or whatever, but more likely than done, more likely than not, if 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 they're going to look like they're running a bubble, they're going to run the damn bubble. And you see Lil' Missile reading this bubble in front of him, right? He's lined up right here. You see him. If he sees bubble, he's going to attack bubble. And if, um, if Dwayne Haskins chose not – to run the ball if his keys on the inside was um you know made him made him um uh, get the ball out to the bubble then then Darnell would be in perfect position to you know come down and play on the bubble you know what I'm saying uh just another IQ play just another um just another example of him reading his keys of him being aware uh smart football things like that uh, let's move on so now we got him like in the box box, right? Um, and he's going to cover whoever the hell this is here. We not watch a film on you. But uh, this is just giving you an idea of his man coverage. All oh, this is one game. All oh, this is just a game versus Ohio State. I still got a few Texas players I want to show you, about three of them. But um, this gives you an idea of his movement, of him being, being in the box, having to cover somebody at the receiver spot, being able to get out of the box and being able to turn and run and cover, not being directly lined up over somebody, right? Now, if he was in perfect position lined up over the receiver, then, you know, this may have been a little less impressive. But the fact that he was in the box in his linebacker spot and able to dip out, turn, and still have a solid um, solid coverage play here, um, that's also impressive by um, – by um darnell savage i tell you what man like like just some of his usage i see him covering a lot of slot guys a lot of um receivers in the league i see him covering oh, tight ends i meant pardon me slots running backs and tight ends in the league um i see plenty of that in his future we see um we see maryland maryland puts him here but they also got two safeties over the top of them you know what i mean so um you have a lot of things you can do with him, man. A lot of flexibility um, with Darnell. Sanders. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M and M's, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Just one of the things that really made my day was watching little bitty Darnell Savage tackle big ass little Jordan Humphrey, man. It, it just made my day, man. Every time I say Darnell Savage tackles little Jordan, it just make my teeth whiter, man. I love, I love competitive football players, bro. Um, and he's a very mentally tough, competitively tough football player. And I always say, if you can get a safety that can cover and has a little bit of range. Um, Darnell ain't got a lot of range, but a little bit of range, but also as, also as a gangster, also as a, a, a competitor, doesn't mind getting his, uh, getting his nose dirty there. I always think those are, those are rare players and they should be drafted. <laughs> look, it's another reason why I call him little missile. Hey, take a look at little missile right here, man. Take a look at him deep now, like deep. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, look at little missile. Get your little ass up. Your... Look at the cartel view. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's little missile right there. Look at the cartel view. Look at little missile. <laughs> It is one last play, man. Little missiles up top at the free spot. He's just gonna read Lord Jordan. <laughs> He's gonna read the eyes of the uh, quarterback. He's gonna go down and let hit on Lord Jordan. Um, the the ball wasn't wasn't gonna be caught anyway. Probably could have been caught, but I think even if it was closer to being caught, um, Darnell was right there, ready to lay the hit, man. Just him read, reading what's in front of him, reading, reacting, um, covering grass, getting there quickly, man. Um, 
I could probably just let this run while I talk about this. Uh, so I don't see Darnell as a full-time free safety. I don't see him giving you a lot of range he plays there. He could probably give you some some free safety value, like in a cover three look, um, where he's only responsible for a third of the field or maybe like cover two. Um, I wouldn't make him like a cover one free safety or anything like that, where he has to cover the entire field. I don't I don't think he has elite range, but I, I do think he has enough range. Um, I did see some plays where they kind of where they kind of uh, threw the ball over the top of him, not because of a lack of athleticism or anything like that, um, but just the the positioning of him. I just think he's a lot more comfortable when he's playing down in the box, when everything's in front of him and all he has to do is read, react and be little missile. Um, he, he works more off athleticism and, and reads than, than these big, uh, these big deep full field reads or whatever. Uh, so like I said, he can chase these tight ends around. He can, he can play zone coverage or whatnot. He can read what's in front of him and break on the ball. If it's in like a, like a short range from the hook and curl spot to maybe the flats or whatever. But, um, but as a deep, safety guy him getting sideline to sideline like a Malik Hooker or something like that or, you know I, I'm not really uh I'm not really putting him in that spot or anything like that being able to uh play linebacker in a pinch now, now I would only put him at linebacker on like third downs or whatnot you know um like if it's a nickel spot put him at put him at will or something let him chase one of these running backs or something like that I think that that's uh that's where you're gonna find Darnell's real value plus you got a gangster in the run game and you can you can never have too many gangsters in the run game all right, uh, this video was brought to you by uh, Ken Miles. Uh, he's probably going to be in the chat box. He's going to be on my Twitter somewhere. Y'all go over there and thank him. This was sponsored by him. Um, I'm also about to drop a Nikhil Harry video in the name of him. So everybody clap it up in the chat box. We got Darnell Savage, and we're going to get Nikhil Harry because of Ken Miles. Salute to him for being a real one and supporting this movement. Um, Y'all like the video. Uh, leave a comment, hit the uh, hit the sub button, and hit the little bell so you know when I drop random ass film sessions in the middle of the week just like this. It's April, so uh, we're going to be doing draft live stream videos on Tuesday and Thursday, 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, so be sure to tune into that. And... Um, the Patreon is more important than food and water, and uh, go support my merch. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. The Piski Weeski comes with admission. Salute.